Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to give you a quick introduction to how you can do a um, a pretty cool online walkthrough. Um, letting people move through your site if you've got a funky site and you want to share some information. You know what it's like. You go to a new program and it says click here, click there, click there. So on my, I've been playing around on my um, uh, dissolved training. When you click the accept the cookies, the little walkthrough starts. Look, join my free training. Click here, right? Or click next. Join the forum to go deeper. And then share share with your team. Done. Uh, how, how was that? I keep vanishing. I need to uh, fix that. But then you can do an exit survey as well. So what I've been doing is I've used... I, I saw this thing called walkme.com. Uh, and it's free. Where's the pricing? It's free for up to three walkthroughs, yeah. So you can do three walkthroughs, up to three tiers per walkthrough, 300 assists per month, basic online support. Obviously, there's a paid version. I don't know how much the paid version comes. But I was playing around, and I'm just going to show you how I got that working, and you can get it working for you for free, and then you can look at going in deeper with these guys. So basically, when you start up, uh, you'll get started, you'll do a sign-up, and it obviously will log in like any anything that logs in. What you'll then get asked to do is add a Chrome extension if you're using Chrome, and you'll add the app. There's an app that comes on the on a Windows or Mac device, and that is uh, the two things you'll need to install. So then, what you do is you go to the page you want to start working on, and if I go to my um, walk-in walkthroughs. This is the training one, right? So you'll see here, join my training. Join to go deeper, share with your team, right? So when I play that on here, it's, you know, share, share, done, right? So let's let's do a full a full brand new one. Let's do a, um, let's pick another training course, right? So, oh, not this one. Let's go back, go back. So if we were going to do a, a, a new one for this, what you would do, and I'm not an expert in this yet, I'm just showing you how cool it is, how funky it is. Um, you would add a new walkthrough. So I'm going to do Zoho 1 training. Continue. Start your walkthrough. So what you would then do now is actually, when you click add it'll jump you onto the page and you can start loading it right add so now it's going to say what do you want to add so i want to click here and say uh join my training for free next step so then i'm going to find my next thing so right with this block here join the discussion to go deeper, something like that, right? Next step, this one I clicked up here, share with your team. Next step, um, that would be down here. View uh, lessons. And then you might go done, right? So now I've got these steps. So it starts, you have to actually initiate a start as well. So uh, please save changes, okay, save and continue. New launch, so you want it to launch um, open page, right? Continue. Oh no, yeah, I should have just clicked here and then go auto play, right? So this is what I want it to do. Auto play, create rules, uh, create determine, so I just do URL, uh, Current URL is, and I'm going to pick that that URL up there, and add add rule. Oh no, I don't want to add rule. Let's just save. Done. So now I've got an auto play once a day. You know what? Always once a day. Well, however often you want it to show. Save. So now if I go to play, it's gonna. Click here. Why is the next button not showing? Uh, let's close this. 
output. Walk through, I'll say next, right? Select, select trigger next. So you can make it do funky things. This is not a, a full introduction. This is not a full video on how to use this software. This is me just introducing to show you how you can do it. But there's all sorts of extra triggers you can do and extra things to make it funky. So I want to go next. Question is, there's that one. Yeah, that one's got one. And that one's got one. I don't know why the first one didn't have a next. So now when I click play, it's got a next. Jumps down here, jumps down here, jumps down here, view the lessons, done, right? So I'm pretty happy with that as it stands, and I save it. Now, the final step is to publish it on your website, right? So if I go back to here and go to Zoho One Training, this, it's not going to show, right? So what I need to do, there's two things you need to do. One part I've already done. When you go publish here, you see how one's in orange because it's draft and one's in uh, green because it's published. So I'm going to do publish and then pick. This is for the menu. I'm sure you want to use that or not. There's a little menu that comes up at the bottom of the screen if you uh, leave that in. Save that. Publish. So this one here. I'm going to go production and I'm going to publish to production, right? So what you also have to do as a step is on this snippet, you have to grab this snippet and put it wherever you, in the header, you have to put the header tag. So usually that's where you've put your Google Analytics code, you've put some custom code for your live chat, wherever it is, your header information. On mine, it's uh, obviously I've got a teachable website, so mine's in teachable code snippets and then header code snippet. So if you've got a WordPress blog or something, you would have somewhere in the themes information to, to put code in the header. So now when I refresh this page, I'm kind of, there we go, now it works, look. So it's gone straight away. Next, next, next. So really cool, I really like it. It's walkme.com and it's it gives you options to do more than what i've shown you you know add videos add files show people certain things play a video you know uh, maybe i'd want to have a learn more button that says play int int introduction video and it, you could embed a youtube video on there as well lots and lots of cool things it can do i just wanted to introduce introduce you to getting a um a step-by-step -step walkthrough on your website for free Everything I've done here has not charged me yet. Um, I've, it said I could do three, didn't it, on that website. And the pricing, free. I can do free, up to five steps per walkthrough. Obviously, a paid version um, gives you a lot more information. So, hope it helps. Just an introduction to walk me. Any questions, if, you get, if I get a few people interested, I'll create a training course on how to use walk me. Dot com uh, and how to add it to your website and stuff like that. I'll do a more in-depth. I'll go into each thing. You know, we'll talk about surveys and things and onboarding and all that stuff in a new video, in a new series. Hopefully when my voice is better. Uh, this is this is the Monday morning after England won a World Cup quarterfinal on, on Saturday, so I can hear that my voice is a little bit um, tired. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment as always uh, below, and I'll help you out the best I can. Cheers.